The black hole suddenly expanded to a gigantic size, and not from absorbing outside material. It's expanding from within. This is what it looks like from afar. What's that pulsating sound? Sound doesn't travel in space, so uh, yeah, that's weird. It's beating like a heart and getting bigger by the moment. Hey, you two. I wonder, would you mind explaining what happened on Omega? Okay. Omega itself is the Profound Darkness. So the Profound Darkness isn't attached to Omega. It's more like Omega is attached to the Profound Darkness's back. It's weird, though. What happened to that guy who was supposed to be the Profound Darkness's true form? Elmir says he's Persona. I guess he could be lying, but I don't see why he would do that. We can't afford to take an optimistic read of the situation. We should operate on the assumption that the Persona we knew no longer exists, and that Elmir is now Persona. If this is all being caused by Elmir and his cocoon, we have to do something to stop it. So basically, we have to destroy it. How are we gonna do that? And if we do, Harriet is inside. What will happen to her? Giving up already? Pathetic. But... No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Even if we don't understand what's going on, we have to do something. We came all the way to solve issues that we did not understand. I guess we will just keep going and do everything we can. We'll handle things here. I need you two to continue your investigation on Omega. We don't have a lot of time. But you're right. We can still do something about this. Let's head back to Cuento. It's probably a mess there without Harriet. Ephemera first showed up in that world a few decades ago, right? Which means the Profound Darkness got there a little earlier than that. The Profound Darkness went to Omega at roughly the same time we did. So why the gap? <clears throat> Allow me to explain. I mentioned this before, but the flow of time within the Akashic Records is pretty messy. Every time we arrange the records inside, all kinds of worlds get jumbled up at unbelievable speeds. The Profound Darkness, a foreign entity, got in, followed moments later by you. Once I noticed you, I synchronized the time streams. You did what now? Hmm... Basically, I fixed things up real good. However, at that instant, a tiny difference in the time stream caused several decades to pass. That's how chaotic the flow of time is in Omega. Uh, I mean, the Akashic Records. Time rotates over there. Which sounds odd, but that's what happens when records are getting jumbled up all the time. So what would have happened if you didn't stop time back then? Hmm... The black hole would have probably swallowed everything up lickety-split. Didn't mean to knock that one way out of the park, but hey, I guess I did. here. Not as chaotic as I expected, though. Everyone finished prepping should head west! Pack only the bare essentials, folks! This area could come under attack again. We need everyone to evacuate to ensure their own protection. No need to rush! If you have any questions, just talk to the guard. They'll be more than happy to help! Is that... Maggie? Elise, too? Let's hurry to the castle! Oh, 
disrespectful. My least favorite fairy has made her return, I see. And the Guardian is with you as well. Glad to have you with us. As you can see, we're evacuating the citizens of Cuento. They wouldn't really listen to me, but it's been a lot easier with the Sword Maiden helping out. Evacuating? Do you know what's going on, Maggie? No idea. Whatever it is, it's dangerous. You can see that spooky black cocoon in the distance, right? The center's overflowing with a dark liquid, along with an endless supply of supernaturals and Castrum Demonica. Whole area's a nightmare. No matter how many we beat, they just keep on coming. So we've set up a wall to keep them out, and evacuating to the west in the meantime. Migrants are always welcome in Epic. It's a pretty harsh place to live, though. My blade is lending me its strength, which tells me that the situation is just as dire as when the Crimson Fellworm appeared. According to my blade, the cocoon is a manifestation of the Fellworm. And in time, it may prove an even greater threat. Harriet went missing all of a sudden. But that just means I gotta work even harder! If she were here, she'd make sure all of her citizens were safe. So I'm doing it in her stead. Okay. I've answered your questions. Now it's time for mine. Where's Harriet? Well... <sighs> She's inside that black cocoon, isn't she? Don't give us that how'd you know look. It's the only thing that makes sense given the circumstances. For her to vanish at a time like this, something must have happened to her. If she was injured, there's no way you'd leave her side. And if she died, we'd have heard about it. What other explanation is there? And then you asked us what was going on, but didn't seem concerned about where she was. Because you already knew. There's only one place she could be. Excellent deduction, Maggie. My kingdom started making mind control potions for a reason, you know. And I get why you might be feeling troubled about this. So I'm going to back you up in every way that a monarch can. The path forward is clear. If that thing wasn't here, we'd be out of this mess. That thing's a problem. In conclusion, we do something about that thing. But Harriet's in that black cocoon. Well, we'll just have to leave that to the Guardian. It's not that simple. Shut it, fairy. That's the only option we've got. If we can't handle a problem, the Guardian can. The Queen of Epic is right. The Guardian has proven time and time again that for them, all things are possible. They managed to both defeat the Crimson Fellworm and save my uncle's soul trapped within it. They also saved me after I was consumed by darkness. And your heroic deeds don't end there, Guardian. If someone were to ask me, what do you believe in? I know just what I'd say. I believe in the Guardian. My belief in you is the reason I've put so much into this fight. Whatever happens is the result of that belief. You don't need to feel responsible. And you don't need to doubt yourself. The responsibility for these decisions falls on two people. Harriet and me. Maggie! That disrespectful nickname seriously grinds my gears! Guardian, you can get through this. My blade has said so. You've been the harbinger of many miracles in the past. This will be no different. No. Ignore my blade. I believe this. Me. My blade was forged to slay the Fellworm. But I'm here of my own volition to support you. Let us make a solemn vow. Here and now. Feeling Harriet? Top of the world, right? Oh, to have an endless appetite with an entire world to devour. <laughs> now that's a buffet. What? What are you planning? What are you going to do to me? Well, I'm not going to do anything. 
Our very existence will end the world. That's how we were made. You see the dark liquid, right? It's going to devour everything. Because that liquid, it's us. It corrupts mana, uh, photons. It feeds, expands, deranges, blending into the world. Everything becomes one. Everything returns to the beginning. Everything ends. That's our goal. But... Uh, I want no part in that. I've wanted nothing but to bring peace to the world. Peace to the world? Huh? <laughs> Whose wish was that, anyway? My dear Harriet. What do you... You're not Harriet. You're just something else that's taken her shape. You understand that better than anyone, don't you? Do you really believe those wishes are yours? Or were they simply planted inside you? You can't mean... Oh, if it isn't my favorite little chief! I thought I scared you off. But here you are. <laughs> you just love to spin those wheels, don't you? Guardian... <laughs> oh, I get it. They're the reason you still have hope. In that case, let me show you just how powerless they are before me. The black hole is enlarging even faster now. Stopping time barely gave us a breather. This is getting ridiculous. What next, Shao? Is there... Is there anything else I can do? No, keep going. If you stop, it's only going to spiral out of control. Shao... That thing's devouring nearby photons to get bigger, right? Seems like it. Got an idea, Alma? Alma? I'm leaving this in your hands, number two. No problem, right? What? It'll be fine. Don't worry about the details. Just go full throttle! I have to go handle something. Something that only I can do. Matoy, keep it going. I'm sure Alma's got a plan. But if she goes out there alone, she'll... I know. I know. I'll ensure she's not flying solo. Everyone's working so hard, doing whatever they can to see this through. Me too. I'll pull out all the stops to protect everyone. We can do this. Am I really up to this? Well, no use second guessing myself. Yep, it's do or die. Right, Clarice Craze? There used to be three. Now there's one. But that doesn't matter. Just gotta repeat the feat. Emulate. Akashic Hold! Be born anew. Clarissa the White! 